Hey Aries, what's going on? I am Solo69 and welcome to my channel. This is your bonus reading Aries going into the month of August 2021. This is for you because you got the most views for the month of July. So I have a bonus special reading for you. This bonus reading is called Family Relations. It's a family relations general reading. So this reading is going to be talking about the things that's going on within the family, whether this this is the um, intimate family or just a broad outside skirts of what's going on in your family tree. So we're going to check in and see what's popping off, the messages that's going to come through. And um, yeah, that part. <laughs> this reading may not resonate for all of you Aries. As we know, sun, moon, rising or wherever it falls in your chart really doesn't matter at this point because this is about your family. Are you within the family or something like that? Just family relations, you know? So, we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. Please take out the time, like, subscribe, and share. And Aries, fire, fire, fire. You pushed ahead. Congratulations. Once again, you won the bonus for the month of July going into the month of August. So, here is your bonus reading. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. This is for Aries. Please show me the divine message when it comes to Aries about their family. All right, here's the message. Someone could be getting married. Someone could be practicing their marriage vows, writing their marriage vows, or talking about this. Um, someone could be talking this over with a cousin, um, a male could be speaking over this with their cousin, the, the, the groom. Someone could be trying to fix these vows because they could be saying something that could be a little outrageous. <laughs> um, the you know something borrowed something blue someone may be receiving the something blue from a grandparent Aries let's go ahead and get deeper into it yeah this is um uh, I feel like there is some type of wedding that's going to be taking place soon and um congratulations um someone could be trying to correct the vows right now the wedding vows um and it could be getting help from a cousin this cousin could probably be a little poetic <laughs> just you know bringing in a little bit of help um with this so you are able to um be able to say something without being embarrassed. I think the groom may not uh, may need some help. This could be the other way around. Take it how it resonates. Someone needs help with their wedding vows. And there's a grandfather here or a grandmother here that may be um, giving the someone something blue. Um, I don't know if this goes to the groom or the bride. I don't know if it goes to both. I don't know how that really works, but I did get that treatment as well, but it wasn't from a grandparent. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Let's get into this a little bit deeper. Someone, someone may feel like something is really ugly. Um, a person, it could be a person's looks, it could be a, the, you know, the, their dress. Um, I'm feeling like a dress. Somebody feels like U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. This shit is ugly. <laughs> someone could be feeling like someone's personality is ugly. You know what I mean? But something is very ugly here. Someone may see something as ugly. You know, so keep that in mind. It could be these vows. It could be <laughs> not good. You know. <laughs> I don't know. Please show me more about this relation, family relations reading, relatives. What's going on with the relatives? Okay. So 
someone may have <laughs> someone may feel like they need to take some type of protection with them someone may feel like it, should, it could be some type of problems <laughs> Um, someone may feel like something is too tight as well. Someone may feel like, why is this person getting married? They, they, you know, someone may feel like the bride is a whore. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay. <laughs> someone may feel like, like, why, you know, she didn't, she might as well work at a hotel as much as she beat her, you know? <laughs> There is a lot of gossip around this wedding. There's a cousin here. Someone, someone could be trying to, someone could be, <laughs> someone could be like trigger happy waving a gun or waving some type of to show that their arm don't fuck with them or I don't really know. <laughs> Let me see what this could be really pertaining to when it comes down to you, Aries, and your family. Aries, you could be going to a wedding. <laughs> this may not even be your family, Aries. You could just be, you know, going to this wedding and this type of stuff is what's happening behind the scenes. <laughs> Someone don't feel like they can feel their legs. Someone could have um, diabetic issues. Someone also feels like it's time to stand up to someone like it's a lot going on at this wedding it's a lot of energy so it's almost making me think about like monster um like um step what's it cost uh monster in law someone feels like it's time to stand up you know and, and someone is ready to learn more about their heritage thank you for your wisdom guidance and understanding Yeah, it's time for someone just needs to take a deep breath, you know, and breathe because you're finna step into some unknown stuff, you know, and, and, and sometimes you don't know something for what it really is until after you've stepped into it. You have to step into it to see what it really is. Other than that, it's gonna be what you only see ahead. You don't know what really it feels like. Blase, blase. Please show me what this is pertaining to for Aries and their family relations. Someone could be, you know, coming. Somebody could be strapped, though. Be careful. Somebody could be. Somebody could be strapped at a wedding. And I don't feel like it's a male. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't let any exes into this wedding, even if they seem like they was cool. Some people may have some hidden feelings. Unlock your heart. Oh, yeah, there is a something here with this wedding. Someone is put on a pedestal. Someone could love horses, like um, carousels. Or like, you know, like someone could have had like a rocking horse way when they were young, like one of those little rocking horses. This is about working on um, opening up your heart. Um, somebody could be stepping into a different change, a different paradox, a different life. Like I say, getting married, that's a different lifestyle you're about to live here. And someone, like I say, needs to take out the time to breathe, meditate, and embrace things around them. Um, especially this love that's coming into their life, they're unlocking their heart for this situation. Yeah, when it comes down to this connection that you may have with someone. Um, yeah. 
I feel like the enlightenment it, it'll be it'll come through to you better if, if you just breathe, take out the time, and you know, silence your thoughts. Um, it's a lot going on around you with family, and you know, like somebody could be, you know, really upset about you partnering up with someone. It's, um, but this is luck is on your side here with this wedding, but you just got to get those wedding vows right. Um, um, someone could definitely, you know, be having issues with their legs. Um, someone could be um, feeling like they could they, they would rather be at home watching Wheel of, of Fortune. What the fuck? Anyway, let's go ahead and get a deeper storyline based on this. You know, this is a different change. This is going to bring peace of your mind into your life. This is a new beginning, see? You got this new beginning coming in when it comes down to this to this family. You got a new beginning to come going. But it may, be, it may seem a little chaotic at first. You know, you got some things that's cooking up. And you know, you see around you. You know, going on, but you you definitely are rising into an occasion where you are comfortable enough to give and take and receive. You know, give and receive to a situation. Yeah, and you, you're ready to give in that new seed. You know, plant a new seed of life in your family. Somebody is is this is a wedding. Thank you for your wisdom, guys. I don't know, I just feel like this is a wedding, like the that day of a wedding, and it's all that shit going on. You know, yeah, you got the mother of six at the bottom of the deck, this beautiful, sexy, confident person here. Sagittarius energy. Please show me the storyline for Aries in this family relation reading as their bonus for August 2021. So somebody could be definitely having a wedding in August. Or this is a battle wedding that took place, maybe. This is about some type of truth, some type of success that's coming in finally that's well deserved. Yeah, that's coming in with some type of achievements that's more than worth. Ooh, more, it looks like some type of achievements and rewards and, and, and family food. You know what I mean? Some of you could be from Louisiana. Um, there's something here about gator. Some of you could like alligator. Um, this is somebody that's holding on to, a work holding on to that you've been debating on, looking at to figure out if this is what you should do or not. Um, Leo energy is here. Some of you could be dealing with the Leo. This is about maybe partnering up or having the courage to speak up and partner up about something. Someone may feel like they need to speak up about something at this wedding. This is also an energy of someone going in and working together. Someone may need to go to the doctor as well. But like I said, this is about some type of truth that's coming out that's going to put somebody um, in a position of abundance and happiness here. Um, the, the truth is here. Whether, you know, there is some type of coming together, man, period. Okay, let's go ahead and get some clarifications in here for this reading. These, this wedding, these wedding vows, that, you know, the, the, that's coming about and everything, you know, whether it is just figuring it out, if you should do it, putting, it's, it's something about gaining the courage and self-esteem here. And it's something that, you know, you know, maybe you shouldn't say or, or, or do that that could be a little humiliating or, outrageous here don't do it you, know, you probably got a cousin that knows something about this other person that you're about to marry and they may not really want you to um, do it marry this person it, it could be a reason for this it may have to be silent about it or something but you probably they really want you to cut this new beginning off Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. I'll never cut these, but I do. Okay, so it's a reason for that. I need to be clear. Let's clarify that energy, that wedding, these wedding vows. Like this cousin, this shocking revelation. 
almost like somebody needs to reveal something that's off the table that husband is loyal no okay so somebody feels like someone is not loyal enough to be married this king of pentacles energy may feel like um when it comes down to nurturing someone someone is not this cancer pisces scorpio energy here capricorn virgo and taurus energy here as well aries your energy is not out here but that doesn't mean that it's not talking about you so you know this is just someone that may be faulty may have you know may not have be able to provide or show emotion or be able to give to a situation and so you, there's someone may that feel like they want to say something about this and they you know they, they, they're holding their tongue maybe to clarify um yeah, like I said, but they're ready to say something. They're ready to explode. They're packing heat. You know, like somebody could have a gun. This could be a woman. <laughs> Clarify that packing heat energy for Aries, please. Please like, subscribe, and share to the channel if you want. You can leave a comment as well. This is for Aries. This is your bonus. I'm packing heat in limbo. Somebody's waiting to say something, do something, or uh, something, man. Like, I don't know. This is some type of ceremony. It feels like a wedding, but it may not be. But it's some type of, um, it to me, it's some type of vows of, of uniting something to, together to, to, to do something. And like I say, something borrows something blue. Um, the grandfather or grandmother may be doing that. Somebody may be sizing up someone, feeling like they're an opponent to this person. Someone may feel like there's no choice. They don't see no other way out. They could be definitely stuck in their head. This could be you, Aries, or this could be someone else feeling like this. Someone could be slurred with their thoughts. And they're packing heat. They're ready to explode. You know, they're kind of stuck in this energy right now to where they're numb. They're getting numb to this. And they want to say something, and they may go to. They may end up saying something at this function, at this family um, wedding, or whatever these vows are that's being taken place. Unlock your heart and embrace um, meditation. Um, embrace meditation and reverse something that's not being done needs to be done to clear your mind so you can see things the way they are. Please clarify. Embrace meditation and reverse. Um, it's a lot of chaos. Embrace meditation for Aries, please clarify. Embrace meditation in reverse. Okay. Somebody could definitely be going through some grief or depression when it comes down to um, celebration. Just whatever this celebration is, somebody needs to think, sit back and think. This is this plays a lot to do with your personal growth and the end of an emotional time. But it's, it's a time for toasting. You know what I mean? But actually, someone could be really just, you know, feeling kind of um, sad about something here. It could be an ex. Definitely a return of an ex. Somebody could have some childhood issues. This could be an ex from the childhood. They could be feeling some type of way here when it comes down to the family. Like I say, it's showing out. We got depression and grief right there. And what they say, return of the eggs. You know what I mean? Prize, new home. Somebody is envy. Okay. So we got an envious ass person here. Sizing up the opponent, the person celebration. Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna crash a wedding or something. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. Clarify Dr. Grant in limbo, please. No, 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 no. Unlock your heart. Clarify, unlock your heart. Sorry, Aries. Clarify, unlock your heart for Aries. Because somebody, they finna crash your wedding. Somebody don't like this shit. <laughs> the wedding crasher. Yeah, somebody trying to block something. Hard working, loyal person, hidden attributes. Somebody's hiding something in their face and it's by blocking. And they probably trying to break up with somebody and give somebody a hard time with communication because they're trying to hide something here. This is that loyal person here. 
this is someone who is who's who's really strategizing the situation here dr grant virgo energy some of you may need to watch the virgo reading aries but i'm, I'm seeing somebody trying to block something here you know this celebration this is a warning you are getting a warning that someone is going to try to block this celebration <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Okay. You've been working hard on this and somebody is going to try to block it. Clarify this. Yes, yes. Somebody's going to try to come out and say something here. I'm coming out. I want the world to know. Oh, shit. Something finna blow. Okay. So we got nine of baskets here. Clarify the nine of baskets for Aries in this family relations reading. Somebody could be coming out the closet. Somebody could be trying to recover or, re uh, you know, or recuperate from a situation and they're being still to a situation and gaining their abundance from the being still. And that's probably the best thing to do because somebody is going to come out and try to say something and they're thinking about trying to come out and say something to gain abundance or something. But it looks like it's better for them to be still to a situation so they can recover something. Something has been recovered, but someone looks like they may want to come out and block it. It's almost like a relationship got back together that had broken up. And like, meanwhile, while they broken up, somebody messed with somebody else. Then they got back together and they got engaged. And that person that, you know, was in the middle of this, of this situation, this little whoever, um, is kind of in a feelings about it. So they come in to crash some stuff or break something up. This could be metaphorically speaking, or this could actually be happening. So just take it how you choose. Clarify Dr. Grant in limbo. I forgot to do that. Somebody coming out though and they packing you trying to bring some type of blockage to a situation. Um, somebody may gain victory with this information as well. Somebody is coming out with some fiery ass energy and this is what they're trying to achieve. They're going to gain. They want to gain something from this. I don't know how to take this energy, um, Aries, but because somebody is trying to put an ending to something that you successfully, be, you know, you know, earned uh, your your keep on. This is some type of celebration. I don't know what type of ceremony this is, but it is a coming together of something. It's some type of wedding. Um, and the only re the, the main reason why I'm seeing wedding is because of these vows. Somebody may have to present some vi wedding vows. Meanwhile, you have a grandparent that's going to be given something blue. That's more than likely a wedding. There could be a doctor here. Thank you for your wisdom, guidance, and understanding. Whatever type of doctor that you are. You could just be a doctor here. Someone may feel a little burnt out. Please show me the advice or motivation that you had for Aries. For this bonus family relations reading. I meant to do this before I started the general reading. So, you know. <laughs> I just made sure I got it in though for you. Sorry, a little late though. But here you go. What advice or motivation? Like I said, somebody could feel a little burnt out. Aries, this is about not being judgmental about something and paying attention to seeing yourself through the eyes of others. Um, like mirror imaging like if this was you how would you really choose to take this and don't be one sided one side minded about it One, don't be one sided about the way you think about it so you got um, this this assistance needing to come out so like I said some of you could really like horses you could also be dealing with a cancer or a Sagittarius here 
you got this energy showing up that is peace of mind coming in as long as you pay attention to what assistance you need to put into a situation and make sure you stay in control and your feet planted on the ground about other situations as well because you're seeming burnt out when it comes down to this um when it comes down to restoring something, um, uh, trying to work on something here. And so it's like saying, make sure you keep yourself, um, you keep the optimism up and your aggression flowing at a, at a pace to where you don't overwhelm um, yourself and burn yourself out. So with that being said, you do got joyful um, celebration coming into your life with this abundance. And you just got to let things flow at a natural movement that is supposed to flow. It's going to move at this pace. It'll be all right. And, um, you know, make sure that you gener you know, show your generosity to others, especially whoever this lady is. There is a lady maybe with white hair. And when I say white hair, I'm not talking gray hair. I'm talking like a platinum white hair. You may need to pay attention to showing generosity, uh, um, receiving and withholding certain things when it comes down to this woman in that energy. Um, Virgo um, energy, um, I just pulled out of that. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I think I just spoke about watching their reading. Uh, that was Leo. Um, some of you need to make sure you pay attention to the bigger picture of a situation and know when and when not to receive certain help because some help is, meant, is sent to you through um, the universe and other help is sent to you from the depths of the bullshit. So, and with that being said, I hope you and your family have a wonderful celebration. Whatever this is, doesn't know, nobody's somebody's coming to pack heat. Keep that in mind. I don't know if they're going to shoot something with their words or shoot something with their hands. You know what I mean? So, whatever the case, beware of that energy and also look out and make sure that you pay attention and hold close to this doctor here as well. But these wedding vows are going to be taking place. Somebody's going to speak out in the family family maybe a cousin but let's get it anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end this reading please like subscribe and share and thank you for watching the bonus congratulations once again aries and have a great one